who are you without plants? And you think about it and you think, well, who would you be without oxygen and atmosphere? You wouldn't exist. Who would you be without the plants that produce the oxygen atmosphere? You wouldn't exist. You are actually the emergent property of a biosphere that made you possible that was mediated by plants. And they were mediated by insects and microbes and a whole bunch of things, right? And so you can define yourself without thinking about the atmosphere and plants, but it's a misnomer. It's a wrong idea because you actually don't exist without all of them. Mm-hmm. You are fundamentally interdependent with the whole rest of the biosphere, not just biosphere, but the whole universe. Who are you without gravity? It's a, it's a nonsense question, right? Who are you without electromagnetism? It's a nonsense question. So you are an emergent property of a universe that made you possible. And you're still fundamentally interconnected with and interdependent with the whole thing. So if you think of Earth as actually, you zoom out and you look at it from the outside, space shuttle picture, and you see that it's this tiny, tiny, little bitty organic spaceship traveling through this vast cosmos that's a very inhospitable place. And you realize that on this tiny, little, organic, fragile spaceship together, uh, everything in there is interconnected profoundly inexorably interconnected and the idea that there's this place called a way where we can throw our trash and these people called others that we can bomb and it's beneficial to get their resources or whatever that engenders their enmity back that whatever wherever the trash goes is affecting the air the water that everyone is uh engaged with we have a level of technology that gives us global influence in everything that we do when we're talking here and the headphones that we're talking on have plastics and metals and silicates, et cetera, that came from almost every continent that had people and supply chains around the whole world that were involved that took resources from the earth in ways that were fundamentally unrenewable, caused massive, m- massive problems, extinction level problems for many species, and then turned it into trash on the other side. We're doing these seemingly benign behaviors like buying stuff that is actually affecting this little spaceship that we live on in ways that make itself terminating very quickly, we have a level of population that we never had, right? It's been an exponential rise since the Industrial Revolution and a level of impact per capita within that population that, again, is exponential that cannot continue in this way. But we also have the technological capability to make fundamental changes where we don't have an exponential growth society, where we don't have an economic system that requires year-over-year exponential growth on a finite planet, which how the fuck would that make any sense Mm -hmm. to do an Mm -hmm. exponential growth economy forever or a linear materials economy that turns nature into trash on a finite planet? 